What's up guys? Make sure you hit the subscribe button because I'll post weekly videos on creating passive income and that's what we all want, we want to be independent. So subscribe. This series contains six videos on how to start selling on Amazon. Uh, what I recommend to you guys is that you uh, take action for your own alongside this series. Uh, this first video will be a about finding a winning product. I'll show you my method on how I found a perfect product. And uh, further in the series, we'll be talking about optimizing your product once you found it, finding a supplier, create an account and listing, create a shipping plan, and selling your product on Amazon, which is the end goal. Uh, before we start, I wanted to say that we're only going to try to find products which will uh, give us $10,000 a month at least. And then I'm talking about revenue and not profit. Because that's kind of like the amount you need to uh, become independent, don't need an employer anymore, and it's really possible. And before we go further, uh, I actually have a Facebook group, uh, which you see on the screen right now. Uh, this Facebook group uh, doesn't have a lot of people in it yet, but uh, you can join it. You can ask any uh, passive income related questions that you have. Uh, and the uh, profit for you is that there are not many people in there yet. So if you join, you actually get like private sessions with me. Uh, but yeah, let's do this. So how did I found my perfect products for Amazon? Um, there's actually one main tool I use, uh, which is called Jungle Scout. And Jungle Scout, what it actually is, it, 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 it has two things. One thing is this little thing you see over here. And this, uh, I'll, I'll show you for one second. Let's say that we want to buy uh, a t-shirt just random something here you see all the listings on uh, Amazon and what this little extension in Google Chrome does is it calculates this dat data it looks uh, at the past and it makes an estimate of sales people are making so if we look here at Gildan men's assorted v-necks you see this one is on top. Well, you see him here. You see his price, you see his rank, and here you see what the money is he's making on a monthly basis, which is a lot of money. But this extension will be essential for us when we want to find good products because you want to know uh, if there's a lot of competition, uh, if this product uh, has a feeling of making money, uh, if there are a lot of reviews, this is just an amazing tool. Uh, so this is a must if you want to start selling on Amazon and finding your product. And it's actually pretty pretty cheap. The extension is like a one-time fee, uh, which is $79. You, you don't need the pro version. I, I don't have it either. If you want to spend money, definitely go for the pro version. But with the light version, you can find your good products as well. So I recommend this one. Uh, and besides this method, I'm going to show you everything in a minute, but besides this method, uh, there's also another uh, feature in this Jungle Scout uh, plan. And that's the one, what's this? That's the one here. Uh, it's called a web app. And what the web app does, I can show you. Um, it gives you suggestions of good products uh, for you and, and based on your uh, criteria so if i say like hey we want to sell something within office products uh, the minimum price has to be 10 bucks because we want to make some money uh, rank i'd say 3000 this is this is actually sales rank and the lower your sales rank is so let's say you're number one you're the number one best seller within a certain category so uh, the lower the rank uh, the higher these people will be in search rankings and we don't want to to have people like 
uh, go up or up in the thousands of ranks because then you have a lot of competition. So if you put the rank a bit lower, then you know you only see the ones who are making money and then you can compare to the competition. Uh, the revenue that we want to make is around 10,000, but let's for now say 15,000. Uh, and yeah, you actually click this on standard. Um, this we don't have to click. All right, you can, you can actually include keywords as well. I don't do that actually, but you, you could do it. And all you have to do is press search. Wait for it to load. And then here, sorted by revenue. And what you see now is products for your criteria. I just filled in and you can see what kind of profit they're making per product, how many reviews they have, 180 here, uh, how much revenue they're making, how much sales they're doing uh, on a monthly basis. And what you can do here is just browse these products and get like something that might be an opportunity for you. So if we look at this, you see a lot of, some stuff is like really competitive and you should know that like pens and stuff and books. But sometimes you'll find products which you think like, oh, this, this has an opportunity such as this. This is like a kid shock proof protective cover case. So if we then go to Amazon and we type in kids protective cover case. Here we go. Here's actually the listing we, we find there. And you see he has 16 reviews, which is really low. And the higher your reviews get on Amazon, the more sales you're going to make. That's just like the law within Amazon. So what you basically wanna do is find uh, products that sell well, even though they have low reviews. And here, all right, we have a list here. Just wait for it to load. What I always do is just sort it by revenue. So you see the top ones. And then you see here, tablet case. He's making around 6,000 a month with only 16 reviews. That's pretty decent, but for us, this is not a product we want to do because we want to make at least 10,000 so we can make an income out of it. But you, you, see, you see the point of this web app. It's, it, it's very useful. I use it a lot and to find products um so yeah if, if you want to spend some more money uh you can look into this but for now let's do it by hand um all right so another method you can do uh if you don't want to spend money like okay you really need the jungle scout extension i'm not gonna lie you're really gonna need that uh, but besides that, if you don't want to look into web apps or other uh, things you can buy, you can actually just type in certain keywords. So, for instance, say like uh, bath. Let's say bath. If I type bath and space, you see actually the keywords uh, which people type in uh, the most online. So... Here you can get like inspiration because obviously a lot of people are typing these words. So if you say bot bombs and you do another space, um, you see more suggestions and then you're like bot bombs mold, bot bombs lush, bot bombs. What, is, what is this stuff? I'm actually pretty interested in this. <laughs> bot bomb lush. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's buy this. Oh my God. All right, guys, let, let's get out of this for a second. I'm gonna buy this. With all the jokes aside, um, here we have now all the Bath Bomb Lushes. I have no idea what it is, but people are selling it. And let's run the Jungle Scout app here. Yeah, so what I already see here, and I'm, I'm gonna teach you what you have to look for within these products uh, what you want is the average reviews is very high it's very high what's considered high everything above I'd say for us like 300 because then it's gonna be pretty hard for you to get up there with competition uh, what you want to be looking for is like people who sell a lot of 
stuff with low refuse. So this guy has 68 refuse and he's making 20,000 bucks a month. So that's more of the range you gotta look for, like lower ones, lower re reviews. But this, you know, if you're gonna jump in here, you're never going to make it. You gotta spend like thousands of bucks on marketing and advertising if you ever want to be there. So find a niche which has low reviews, but has quite some average monthly sales. I'd say like at least 800. Uh, sales rank the lower it is the better as well uh, because the higher it is the more competition and for pricing i recommend you go above 10 bucks and the reason for that is if you go below 10 bucks it's going to be really hard for you to make profit per product so only if you're planning on buying like 20,000 pieces and ship them somewhere then you might go for lower price but we're probably gonna start with a low budget I started with 3000 but you can actually start with 1000 as well but the higher your your price uh, the more profit you, you're gonna be able to make so that's my recommendation um, yeah let's let's go find some more I think buff I, I don't know I feel something with buff today uh, buff what you also can do is just type in a letter and it says a lot of suggestions as well which people type in a lot so if we say like this here color tablets crayons chairs this is caddy let's see oh, this this sounds good here buff caddy for top let's check into this all right Let's run the Jungle Scout app. Okay, this this looks way better. This looks way better. What you see here, the difference here, just wait for it to load for a second. The difference here is you see the average refuse is 134, which isn't really high. It's not low as well, but it isn't really high. The average monthly sales is above 500, which is what we want. The average price is 35 bucks, which is really good. That's a good pricing to be on. And now if we look at the people who sell the most, you see this guy, he has 38 refuse and he's making 50,000 bucks. This one has 32 refuse and making 40,000. This one has 14 refuse, which is really easy to get. He has 30,000. So this this might be a product we actually want to be selling because there isn't a lot of competition. Uh, another way to look at the competition is to, which I do, it's not like as good as this, but always look at like here the, the total results and if it goes in like the hundreds of thousands, you know there's a lot of people selling within the category. But this is like 570, which is really good. So let's pick this product for now. So how do we figure out if this product is uh, going to make uh, money? What we have here, uh, yeah. So the main platform on where you're going to find your suppliers is called Alibaba. And Alibaba is basically for you the, the channel to find your supplier uh, Alibaba has I think maybe millions of suppliers on here and basically what you do is you type the product you want so above caddy tray you type the product you want and you see a lot of suppliers who sell these similar products and what we're looking for let's see these guys are sell all selling like wooden wooden stuff if you actually, if you also want to zoom in on someone, so this guy, you can just open his uh, his page. You can check it out. But if you then click the Jungle Scout app as well, why is it crashing? He comes up uh, at top, so you can 
uh, directly see what he what he's doing and he's doing really good and he's doing it with a plain like regular wood if you look at like the suppliers this is like the exact product like this is the exact same oh he has like some well this is the exact product and this as well so what we do here is we we look at we look at the pricing so here it's around 5 to 15 bucks here it is like 8 to 13 bucks here's it like 8 to 12 so what we do then is we go to sellercentral.amazon.com um, the best way to get here is just google and say amazon revenue calculator this is actually the one the one on top so it brings you here and what you can do here is type in bath caddy tray here we see here this is the product we're looking for so you click on it and what's this gonna do it, it calculates the the product dimensions and the sizes which will play a huge role in transport costs and everything and what you do here is the, the wait uh, we go back to the extension so the average price was 35 bucks um, my suggestion is don't go uh, don't sell it for too cheap you always want to have like a premium quality so I don't know marketing wise it works better if people think they're buying luxury so for now let's say we're going to sell the product for 38 bucks then we need to know the cost of the product so the cost of the product we just found here on Alibaba which is around eight bucks and then this is excluding uh, transport so let's you should add like 20 percent above this so let's say it's gonna be 960 to to actually that we the cost for a product just hit calculate and now you see I'm going to make twelve dollars and this is like really rough but it's a good standard I'm gonna make like twelve bucks per uh, bathroom caddy I sell so that's a pretty good profit what you want to be looking for is like above 30 percent everything below 30 percent is not worth it uh, my product which is going to be online uh, soon my new product uh, has like 40 percent uh, profit that's when you, what you want to be looking for because you want to make money so you can invest that more into marketing and uh, more stock so restocking uh, but yeah so we know this is a good product we the potential to make profit uh, is there the the competition isn't like really high so <laughs> if you guys want to dig in this product you can <laughs> be my guest do it um, and another thing here if you open like this page of someone um, you actually have like another extension and it's called Kipa it's a free so it's key e e p a and what Kipa does it's if you install that uh, below every listing you'll find this and it's actually really useful because you can see for how many days this guy is selling this guy is selling for 41 days so he's selling for 41 days and he's making thirty thousand dollars a month so he's been into this for a month and now he's selling like crazy so this is an amazing product holy shit but all right i'm actually pretty sad i'm making this video because this is really good <laughs> but this is good so now you see the point when you find a good product uh you can also see this guy, the, the green line says sales rank. And what I told you earlier is the lower your sales rank, the higher you're gonna be in search volume and uh, the better you're going, your listing is gonna be and the more sales you're gonna make. So of course he started out like really high, but his price, you can see as well, was lower. Then later on, he, got, he started getting some sales. So he raised his price by two bucks. Then he went a little bit up but it was pretty decent then he went up as well and he maintained his sales rank so this is pretty smart uh, I think he did like some kind of deal here 
And then this is what you usually see as well. People rising their price because they're going to run out of stock. This is pretty normal. Um, Cause if you raise your price, you're going to make less sales. So if you raise your price, raise your price, uh, you can let products get shipped in and do never get out of stock because uh, sometimes it could take like a full month to produce your product and send it to Amazon. So you gotta like really focus on stock. But yeah, uh, so definitely check out this this tool. You can click on other stuff as well. Just just check it out. But now we know this product is a winner. So what you do then? Is you go to I actually made like an Excel uh, with like a top eight of products I want to be selling what you do is you type in the potential I say the ease um, it's a pretty easy product to uh, create it, it's mainly just wood um, maybe shipment could be hard because it's heavy so you can fit uh, fewer amounts uh, within boxes but uh, if you look at the competition, there is quite some competition, but there's also huge potential. So what you do in this sheet is the ease, I'd say it's like a 7 out of 10. The potential is really high because people are making huge amounts of bucks with low reviews. Uh, and do I find this product fun? Because obviously you got to have fun when you're selling because uh, otherwise it's just gonna be a pain and you know you're gonna improve the product this is something you're gonna be busy for for months so it has to be fun but a bathtub caddy sounds really fun so hell yeah let's do this no I'm just kidding but yeah so now you have a score of 26 just do this uh, for eight times my suggestion is don't stop when you find your first good product because if you search further you will discover even maybe even better products uh, with more potential and less competition. So definitely draw up at least eight, check them out, uh, do the scores and then pick the one with the highest scores or just the one below that. So that was it for the first session. I hope this, this worked for you guys. Uh, I really recommend you guys start searching your own product now so that next session which will be next week we're going to talk about optimizing our products which we just found and which will include like logo design packaging um, optimizing the products and making it unique compared to the others because if you look at this this is like all wood this guy is maybe a bit different because he has a different color but you can Optimize your product so it is unique and if you're unique then people are gonna buy you so Definitely tune in subscribe to this page if you want to uh, see when the next session is live I also posting uh, my weekly uh, Revenue results and my social media uh, results. So yeah, definitely support it uh, Don't forget to join that Facebook page and I will see you guys in the next session